Hey there, it's Jacqueline Bear. I'm excited to share with you my brand new Salka art sling. I made this art sling for artists like you to have the ultimate companion for creating art, whether you're in your studio, out at a coffee shop, or like me, out hiking in the mountains. So today I'm going to explore Winter Wonderland and give you a behind the scenes look on how I created it and what all it can carry. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to join my art community and subscribe for more art tips, inspiration, and cozy relaxing videos just like this. Otherwise, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. So you might have seen my video where I did my updated minimal art kit and I had sewn a fanny pack, hip belt, whatever you want to call it, but I needed to make a better one, a newer one, a bigger one to accommodate all the things that I wanted it to accommodate. So I am very excited to show it off. And you'll see lots of clips of it. I've taken lots on this trip, but I wanted to showcase it to you and talk about it a little bit. And then we'll also go in the studio where I can show you everything that I put in inside of it because out here in the snow, I, I tend to drop things. So we're just gonna go over it briefly. Another cool feature about this bag, because I love backpacking, being out in nature, I don't want anything to be too heavy or clunky. So this is very lightweight. I chose materials that feel luxurious, but are very lightweight. I will weigh it and I'll put it on the screen here so you know how much it weighs. And then also it's very, very water resistant. I have a more water resistant YKK zipper. I have the recycled materials that if it gets wet, it slides right off. It's super nice. I love that because being out here in nature, even in the winter time, if I put this in the snow, it's, it's just gonna slide right off. And then same with summertime, if you happen to spill water on it or something, it's just highly water resistant, super lightweight and perfect for taking outdoors. You can fill it with as much art supplies as you want. Cause I know you artists, I'm an artist too. We like to take more than we think we want. So it's really nice that the bag is really lightweight and that you can fill it with all your wonderful goodies. So come with me as we trek to this beautiful meadow on this nice sunny wintry day and we're going to take in all the beautiful views and then we're going to go back to my studio where I'll show everything that's inside of it, lay it all out nicely for you, show you all the features inside and I'm really excited to show this to you. Now that we're up here, it's very gorgeous, but we went into our favorite coffee shop and got a hot warm mocha to put in our thermos and oh, it's still super warm and perfect because it's windy and chilly up here. So tip, if you're out snowshoeing, get a warm drink. So I am back in the studio after a wonderful snowshoeing trek in the mountains, doing all of my final tests with da -da -da -da, my Salka art sling. It is officially launched and I am so, so excited. 
This has been over a year in the making and it is finally live in the shop. I have made three other versions before this one that you may have seen in previous videos, but I have finally settled on this design and what works best. So I thought I would walk you through the features, what it can hold, and how to use it. So first of all, it's really hard seeing on a YouTube video just how lightweight this is. But with the hip belt, this weighs 3.5 ounces or one fourth of a pound, roughly 100 grams. Our supplies can get really heavy, so anything I can do to carry a lighter bag that's, you know, for my art organization is really, really helpful. The fabric is even more water resistant than my art board and my art pouches and it comes in a lot of really cute colors, so there's more color options for you to order than just this one. It also, with this fabric, it's more structured, so compared to like my art board or my art pouch that has this wonderful, luxurious feel and is more like floppy and it works perfectly for holding all of your pens and pencils and paint brushes and stuff. This, for the art sling, I wanted to make sure it was more structured so it could sit upright with all of your materials in it and just just be a little bit more structured but also even though it's more structured it's really ooh, that was a fun noise it's really compactable so if you were traveling and you wanted to bring this along but you put your art supplies like in something else for you know getting through tsa if you're flying or something you can pack this down really, really flat into your suitcase and be able to bring it with you. So I really love how packable this, this art sling really is. And one more note about the fabric and the mesh is that it's 100% recyclable fabric. So this is a more eco-friendly product while still having all the features that I wanted in an art sling. So now let's pop over here so I can open it up, show you all the features and get inside. So first it has two front mesh pockets made with really premium durable mesh material. It's meant to be on like the outside of like backpacking backpacks. So it's really, really durable and it holds up really well compared to like other mesh fabrics. And I just wanted to be able to quickly store and grab things while I'm painting or sketching. So this has been really, really nice to have these right in the front. And it holds like cute field notes and I don't know, I think that's really, really cute. And I've had some comments from people wanting a full size pocket without like the divider down the middle. So here on the back side where the hip belt is, I added this full size pocket right to the back so it's easy to put things in here. I like to put things like, this is really messy looking, but it's a Swedish towel and this is what I use to kind of wipe off my paint brushes. And I usually like to leave that right back here, maybe with some other notebooks, like even if I didn't put this in the front, I could toss that in the back as well. And then on the sides here, I have this stretchier band and I sewed right down the middle on this side so that it could be a pen loop. So something like this Lamy Safari pen can fit so nicely right there. You could add another pen here. And then on this side, I didn't put a divider so that you could have a thicker band right here so you could hook other things to it. I just wanted to give you the option um, of both. So I think that that was a fun little added, added touch. So this has a three-way carry system to make it flexible for wherever you're working or creating. One way is if you're outdoors and you want to wear it like a hip belt. So it's attached right here onto these wings and then you can just put it right around your waist and it's really, really helpful when you're standing and have all of your art supplies right there, right in front of you. You don't have to sprawl it all out. Um, it's really, really nice to have it that way. I did make these detachable so that you could then take this and hook it up here. And then you can clip that in and then clip it on this side. And then you can carry it kind of like a sling or a cross bag. And you can also cinch this really tight if you wanted to hang it from like a tripod or anything. But when I have it this way, I notice that the wings kind of flap around. So my easy fix is to just take 
little tiny clips or if you had bigger bulldog clips and you could just clip it down. I'll probably stick with these little ones just so they're not as cumbersome. But if you have some sort of clip, you can just clip these wings down and they're out of your way. You can still store stuff right in there and then you can carry it. And thirdly, you can remove the hip belt strap entirely if you plan on like mostly using it in the studio or at coffee shops. And it's just really nice to be able to detach it and get it out of the way when you don't need it. And then again, you just have it clipped and then you just have this really cute bag. So I did use a YKK water resistant zipper that I did use on my artboard and my pencil pouches and I really, really love working with that. And this is the inside. So on the inside, it has this off-white color to more easily see all of your art supplies inside. I had a black liner on a previous one, and in that video, a few people commented that it would be harder to see things. So now it's really easy to see anything that's inside, inside of your bag. And then there's a full width pocket on the inside too. I just made it out of the same material. And so it's the same thing that's on the back here. I just put one on the inside so that you can have, you know, space for more organization. I like, again, putting more flat things in this. So it just kind of tucks it away and then you can put your other things in here. So the best way to organize this art sling is with my pencil pouch, which you have seen before, which fun note, I do have another color of this, but this fits perfectly inside. I made it, um, I made the bag a little bit wider than my pencil pouches, so that would fit nicely. And it also can fit my new mini pouch. So I like taking this and sliding it right here in the front. I think that that looks really, really cute, that it fits there perfectly. And I have new colors of this, let me grab it. So I have the green one that you've seen before, but I decided to grab a few more colors so you can see it on the website, but I did want to show this one. Oh, look at that, is that not so pretty? So you can also get this art sling in any of the colors that you'll see on my website. So how pretty would this be in this wonderful, what I'm calling wild lupin purple color? And I think that that would be very, very pretty. I have found that having these pouches keeps me more organized. It's more easy to like pull out whatever supplies, you know, I'm needing, which has been really helpful, especially when I'm painting in plain air. So I really like that the pouches fit in there wonderfully, but I also made this big enough to fit a decent sized sketchbook. So this is a Royal Talons art creation sketchbook. And so this is my newest one. I also have their little mini square one. And I'll put links to all of this in the description below. But I wanted to show you this one. This is a new one for me. And I put some of my fun stickers that I've been collecting onto it. And I think it's pretty cute. So I want to show you how easily this can fit in here. Because it's a little bit smaller than the pouch. So it's going to fit perfectly. So there is my sketchbook tucked in here. It's got a little wiggle room left and right, and there's even more space on top. I have my pencil pouch full of pencils and things. And then I've even tucked a few things into this pocket. I'm gonna take this and tuck it back here. I have my Salka Mini tucked in the front. I have a pen that I could even add more pens to. I just don't know where all my pens are right now. And so it fits in there so nicely. And voila, there's all my art supplies and my Salka art sling. And I think I'll add this back on. So there you have it. Here's all of my art supplies. It has the strap on it so I can take it with me. And I, I'm just really, really proud of this and I'm very excited for it. Also, I am doing a big pre-holiday sale as a part of this launch. So all of my Salka products are on a big discount right now. No code necessary, just 
go over to the link in the description and you'll see all of these goodies. I did sell out of my art bundles the first time around, but they are back in stock. So I have this one, which the pencil pouch is in there. And I also added this new color for another variation for you. Um, I'm going to be making a limited run of everything for the holidays, so be sure to go order them very soon. I cannot wait to see how other artists like yourself are using these. I've been getting pictures on Instagram of people using my art bundles, and it makes my heart so happy that I have created something useful and helpful for other artists. And I am just so, so grateful for you all and everyone that has purchased these, and I'm very excited to see this out in the world. And I don't know, you can just never have too many art supplies, right? I also have some fun new videos coming up for the winter, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you are having a wonderful start to the holiday season, and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.